The day Babo couldn't stop meowing out the window, his family knew something was wrong. Zoe couldn't figure it out. What was he trying to tell them? All day he sat there looking for something out the window. Or someone? And that's when they heard it. One tiny little meow. Turns out a kitten had been missing for weeks and rescuers were about to give up searching. Not on Babo's watch. Zoe got the rescuers to come back right away and those tiny meows led them to this bush. The kitten was like, food? Don't mind if I do. That's when Sarah realized there were two kittens. They were too young to be outside by themselves. If Sarah could bring them safely inside, they could find forever homes. But every time they got close to her carrier, the kittens were too nervous to get in. Wait, I'm sorry, does anyone else see that gigantic slug right there? Don't look at me. Okay, continue. Very slowly, the first kitten came forward. She was like, it smells like sardines in there, but like in a good way. And in. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> We're gonna get you home safely. Now they needed to save the other kitten. But he was like, after you tricked my sister? Yeah, right, I am too smart for that. They tried for hours, but after a while, he stopped coming out at all. They'd have to try again tomorrow. Meanwhile, back at Sarah's house, the first kitten was scared. She was like, I don't get it. First you wanted me to get in this thing, and now you want me to get out? Make up your mind. The rescuers gave her a name, Waffles. Hudson wanted her to feel safe. I'm going to make some meows. And she meowed back at him. But would she ever be brave enough to come out? The next morning, the kitten wasn't in the bushes anymore. Where'd you go, little guy? Wait, what's that? Slug? Nah. Tiny little meows led all the way to this abandoned house. But how were they going to get him out? That's when they had an idea. Maybe if they brought Waffles back, she could call her brother to safety. That's it, Waffles. Tell him it's OK to come out. But the kitten was too nervous. Hold on. How did you get over there? By nighttime, he had managed to escape yet again into this wall. This was no ordinary shy kitten. No, this was a cunning escape artist who moved like the wind. So they named him after a French trickster known for outwitting everyone, Lupin. At this rate, they weren't sure they'd ever be able to rescue him. They needed a new plan. He was too afraid of humans to come close, so they'd have to use crates. Then when he wandered in to check out the food, they could bring him to safety. The next morning, they went to check. Could this be it? Empty. Then, empty again. They checked the last crate. Possum, get out of there. Meanwhile, back at Sarah's house, Waffles left her carrier for the first time. Ooh, shiny fish? Nope, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. The next step, see if Waffles would let them pet her. I am not a boy, I am a statue. Yes, some pets! But there was still one big problem. Lupin. It was getting colder and he wasn't safe. If they didn't catch him soon, he might move on and they'd never see him again. <gasps> there he is, hiding in plain sight. Lupin, you really are a kitten of mystery, aren't you? They needed to rescue him now, before he outsmarted them again and left forever. This called for a different strategy. A drop crate. They needed to be able to sit further away while Lupin came to eat so they didn't scare him off. The rescuers were nervous. They'd been trying to catch him for four whole days. Would this really work? Sarah waited with the rescuers all day. Oh, there you are, you little trickster. It took hours of waiting. But finally, the rescuers saw this. He was so close to the drop crate. The rescuers held their breath. Would this finally be the time? Or would he get scared away again? 
they waited. He went a little closer and closer. And then they did it! <laughs> but what now? They needed forever homes. The only thing was, they didn't seem ready. Yes, we can still see you. That's not hiding. But then... She's so loud. She sounds like an ex Although the real test of whether or not they were happy was, would they play? That's a yes from Waffles. And Lupin too. He was like, what's this? Was over here. And Sarah knew it was time for them to go to their forever homes. But who would they be living with? This is a key to it. We're gonna adopt the kitten. Ah, uh, yeah. That's right. Lupin was coming home to the very cat who saved him from the woods, Babo. He's officially adopted Waffles. And Waffles would be staying with her best friend, Hudson, and her new brother, Biscuits. On Lupin's first day in his forever home, oop, there he goes. Still a bit of a trickster, aren't you, Lupin? He'd be staying in this room until he was ready to meet Babo. But he spent all day and all night scared behind the couch. Zoe was worried. What if he never liked it here? Oh, come on. Can't we stay? Meanwhile, Babo wanted to meet his new brother now. Sorry, Babo. He's too scared to leave the... <laughs> Wait, is that a paw? Suddenly, Lupin was happy coming out from behind the couch. It was like he was a completely different cat. Zoe spent every day with Lupin until he became a real snuggler. And Babo waited patiently on the other side of the door. Patiently-ish. Then one day, it was time. There was some sniffing, some checking each other out, and then... Babo? No. No? Every time they let Babo in, he'd bite Lupin on the neck. Babo? He was being a typical big brother. Is Babo in your house? Zoe started feeding them together. But it was important to keep a close eye. Can we help you? And then one day she noticed Lupin wanted to play too. From then on, it was wrestling nonstop. They wrestled here, they wrestled there, until the wrestling turned into licking. Before Lupin, Bebo spent all day sleeping in different places in the house. But now, the only place he wanted to be was where Lupin was. Aw, is that a paw? And they got closer and closer. And then, Lupin, the scared kitty who once spent four days running away from rescuers, was now a happy little brother, sleeping right under the window where it all started. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.